many customers are going through such a large transformation, they all also recognize that they have so much, uh, let's say, data um, in every different places that are not communicating to each other. So it's in itself, it's a challenge for applying AI because as we know, AI is, is very much data hungry. The other th second things that we consider, or at least we, we look at, is how much we call it tribal knowledge is in the head of people. There is a very big challenge is about how do we recapture that information. So how we do we go from, let's say, an analog type of information, which is in the brain of people, into a digital form of uh, information that is becoming part of, of IT infrastructures. One of the things that scares companies and executives, especially in technology and supply chain and, and operations, is when you bring a new idea to bear and immediately their mind goes to, I'm going to have to do a rip and replace. And that's just not true. These are really easy programs to stand up and integrate with your current system. When you think about sustainability in some of these far-flung enterprises, you have all kinds of products that could be considered waste. And being able to better manage that and understanding local laws as well as national laws can make a huge difference in your ability to not only lower your costs, but improve your relationship with the environment. And this can range from physical waste there, but also electrical use, where AI can optimize the use of electricity at the various times of day. AI is not just a technological advancement, but rather a strategic tool that can lead to improved customer experiences, operational efficiencies, and ultimately financial growth and scale for retailers. And it provides the foundational tools for agile, resilient, and sustainable supply chains. This is really how AI bends the curve on innovation with Gen AI and think about turning data into knowledge and shift for more proactive, predictive supply chain away from a reactive mode of operating and much more customer-centric operation by accelerating your supply chain work. And now you have the ability to make intelligent decisions for smarter supply chains with insights to proactively detect opportunities and risks to deliver the right product to the right place at the right time for the end consumer. You're reshaping business processes with better end-to-end -end visibility and collaboration. AI is transforming workforce management and retail in several impactful ways. Firstly, it is automating routine tasks, which is a significant development. This automation isn't just about efficiency. It's about enabling staff to focus on higher value work that requires human insight and creativity. It is a shift that empowers employees and enriches their roles. Secondly, AI plays a crucial role in employee scheduling. It's not just about filling shifts. It's about optimizing coverage to ensure that the right people are in the right place at the right time. AI is going to have a significant impact in workforce management. I think this will be very much aligned to how people are scheduled, uh, how people are onboarded, how they're trained, uh, how they interact with HR, and also how they interact with leadership and the broader organization. And Generative AI can help leaders, whether they're store managers, whether they're regional leaders, whether they're corporate leaders, interact with a higher rate of communications, more frequent communications, also understand across all the messaging that's happening within the field to understand what the feedback, what the conversations are within the stores so they can respond to the people that are really the most critical part of the business, those interacting with their customers. AI is new, it's new for everybody, but when chief operating officers are considering where to start within their organization, I'd really recommend three really important things to consider. What are you going to do across your organization to have responsible AI? What guardrails are you going to put in place and what principles are you going to shape your AI development and deployment across your organization? Things that you need to consider are privacy. Is it non-discriminatory? Are elements of society wrongly or disproportionately penalized or favored as you're deploying your AI? And accountability. Who's accountable for correcting anything if it goes wrong? And how are you planning on developing any channels for recourse? If we're thinking strategically, I would say they need to develop a clear understanding of what the current technology landscape is within their organization. Then they can identify gaps and opportunities where new technologies can make a significant impact. Um, they can obviously engage with their stakeholders across the organization to gather further insights, build a consensus on technology adoption or any other key themes. And then you know you can prioritize the technology investments that align with strategic business objectives. You know, I always advise my customers to 
to look inward first. What are we trying to do? You know, what are the biggest issues with the company? How are you trying to move forward? And generally, you know, there's still a lot of work to be done, I think, with frontline workers. And so by looking inward and advising to help, you know, that group first, because if you have happy employees, enabled employees who feel like they can come to work and do their best work every day, that will then turn into better customer experiences and then COOs feel comfortable moving on to the customer experience.